In recent years, Iran has been actively developing hypersonic missiles, attracting significant attention from the international community. Hypersonic missiles are weapon systems capable of moving at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound. They have the potential to overcome missile defense and create new challenges for air defense systems. Iran asserts that its hypersonic missiles are part of the country's strategic defensive capability and are intended for self-defense. These missiles have a large range and can reach significant speeds, making them difficult to intercept and destroy. Developing hypersonic missiles has become one of the priority tasks for the Iranian military and scientific institutions. This technology requires a high degree of precision and complex engineering solutions. Iran's success in developing hypersonic missiles is indicative of its scientific and technical progress in the field of military technologies. However, it should be noted that hypersonic missiles raise concerns and cause anxiety among many countries. This technology can alter the balance of power and impact the geopolitical situation. International communities are worried about the potential consequences of such armament and urge Iran and other countries to comply with international norms and treaties in the field of nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation of missile technology. In conclusion, Iran's development of hypersonic missiles is a significant step in its military program. It generates considerable interest and provokes a lot of debate in the global community regarding safety and stability in the region and beyond. Over the past few years, Iran has announced the development and testing of various missile systems. Here are a few examples of missiles developed by Iran. The Shahab-3 missile is one of the most famous and widely discussed missiles developed by Iran. The Shahab-3 is a liquid-fueled ballistic missile, which means it uses a mixture of chemical substances as rocket fuel. The path to developing the Shahab-3 missile was arduous and full of trials. But finally, the day came when the first prototype was ready for testing. Early in the morning, at a secret test site, engineers prepared the missile for launch. The heart stops when the ignition mechanism is activated and the engine starts to work. The Shahab-3 missile slowly but surely soars into the sky. Like an arrow, it pierces the atmosphere, leaving behind a trail of powerful thrust. This moment becomes a symbol of Iran's power and technological achievement. One of the main features of the Shahab-3 missile is its substantial range. This missile is capable of covering distances up to 2,000 kilometers, which enables it to reach important targets at significant distances. This allows it to cover considerable distances and potentially threaten some regions, including some parts of Europe. The Shahab-3 also has a payload capability that allows it to carry various types of warheads, including conventional and nuclear ones. This gives it great flexibility and the ability to adapt to various situations and defense needs. The Shahab-3 is a crucial element of Iran's military potential and attracts the attention of the international community due to its range and possible implications for security and stability. Other models such as the Kehan and Sadef have also been developed and tested. Once, in Iran's secret laboratories, engineers worked on creating a new missile system which became known as the Kaihan missiles. These missiles became a pride of Iranian science and technology and also sparked interest and excitement in the world. The first prototype of the Kehan missile was tested at a secret test site. It was evident that Kehan has impressive thrust and speed. One of the main features of the Kehan missiles was their flexibility and maneuverability. They were capable of changing their flight trajectory, making them elusive and complex targets for the enemy. This characteristic made them formidable opponents of air defense systems. The Kehan missiles also boasted impressive flight range. They could reach significant distances, delivering their warheads far and wide. Unlike the Shahab-3, which has a stated range of about 1,300, 2,000 kilometers. Kehan, according to unofficial data, can reach a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. Due to this ability, the Kehan missiles became a matter of concern for many countries, worried about their security. An important aspect of the Kehan missiles was their payload capacity. They could carry various types of warheads, including conventional and nuclear ones. This gave Iran the ability to showcase its power and the capability to strike if necessary. However, like many other military systems, the Kaihan missiles were subject to constant improvement and modernization. Iranian engineers continued to work on the development and refinement of these missiles to enhance their effectiveness and accuracy. The Kaihan missiles continue to garner interest and provoke debates globally. They remind us of the constant arms race, 
security complexities, and the necessity of diplomatic efforts to maintain peace and stability. The efforts of scientists and engineers focused on developing a new weapon that attracted the attention of the world. These were the Sadef missiles, powerful weapon systems created to ensure Iran's defense capability and security. The first Sadef missile was created with immense enthusiasm and determination. The Sadef missiles were distinguished by their maneuverability and accuracy. They were designed to deliver various types of ammunition, including conventional and nuclear. Their high maneuverability allowed them to overcome obstacles and deliver warheads directly to the target. The Sadef missile family included several modifications with different characteristics. They had various flight ranges and capabilities, making them versatile and adaptable to different combat scenarios. They became the subject of observation and analysis by other countries trying to understand and assess their capabilities and potential. Once, during the Cold War era, a family of missiles known as Scud missiles was put into service. These ballistic missiles, developed in the Soviet Union, had their uniqueness and caused concern among many countries. The journey of the first missile, named Scud A, began with a combat launch. It demonstrated its power, reaching a range of about 300 kilometers. Countries acquiring this missile saw it as a potent weapon for attacking nearby targets. However, in the race for supremacy, the Scud B was created. This missile had a further flight range, reaching about 500 kilometers. Its emergence led to growing concern among countries feeling their security was under threat. Scud C and Scud D represented the next stage in the evolution of these missiles. They astonished the world with their ability to cover distances of 600, 700 kilometers. Now these missiles could reach more distant places, hitting important military and strategic objects. But the story did not end there. Improvements continued, and Scud E and Scud F appeared. These missile modifications promised a flight range of up to 1,000 kilometers and more. Now countries possessing these missiles could project their power over a wider territory. Throughout the history of using Scud missiles, different countries made improvements, implemented new technologies, and increased the accuracy of these systems. Scud missiles became a symbol of military potential and the ability to reach distant targets. The Scud missile family continues to provoke interest and concern in our time. They remind us of the constant arms race and the importance of international control over the proliferation of such deadly weapons. Once, in the secret laboratories of North Korea, a group of scientists and engineers worked on the development of a new missile system, which became known as the Puguksong missiles. These missiles became a symbol of North Korea's pursuit of military power and sparked concern and interest in the global community. The first launch of a Puguksong missile was executed with impressive power. The powerful ignition of the engine allowed the missile to soar into the sky, leaving behind a trail of flame and smoke. It was a moment when North Korea demonstrated its achievements in missile technologies. One of the main features of the Puguksong missiles was their significant flight range. They were capable of covering great distances, reaching targets far away. This capability caused concern in the region and elicited reactions from other countries. Puguksong missiles were also characterized by their maneuverability and flexibility. They could change their flight trajectory, making them complex targets for air defense systems. This made them an important component in North Korea's strategic plans. However, Puguksong missiles aroused concern and sparked debates in the international community. Their development and testing raised questions about security and stability in the region. North Korea continued to improve and modernize its missile systems, causing growing alarm among neighboring countries. The Puguksong missiles became a symbol of North Korea's pursuit of independence in the military sphere and its desire to assert its presence on the world stage. They remind us of the complexities in the region and the need for international cooperation to maintain peace and stability. Such is the story of the Puguksong missiles, a symbol of military potential and North Korea's pursuit of independence in the field of missile technologies, which continues to cause excitement and elicit reactions in the global community. That's all for today. We thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.